Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and a little bit of glue, and we'll come right up here to the corner and just paint in a nice soft sky. And then like always, let it get lighter toward the horizon. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can very, very lightly just blend out this whole sky. Blend out any harsh streaks and make it look very soft. Now with the one inch brush and some white, we can come right about here and drop in some clouds using tiny circles and just worried about the outside shape. Not so worried about the inside right now. Now back to the two inch brush and we can very lightly blend out the bottom of the cloud. Just with tiny circles and then fluff them up. Just lift them. And then blend right across. Kind of softens them and tones them down a little. Now when you're finished with your sky, you can take a little bit of dark color on the knife and just shape a little mountain. I'm rubbing the paint very hard right into the canvas. Now with a one inch brush, we can blend this mountain right out just by grabbing it and pulling and make it look a little bit softer at the bottom than it does at the top. Now before we highlight that mountain, I'll just take the two inch brush and a little bit of blue and just pull in like that. And we'll get some water. Now with the knife and some white, we can come right up here and just add a little bit of highlight to that mountain. Almost no pressure. Just let it float right down because I want all this breaking in there. Now with some blue and white, we can add a little bit of shadow to the mountain, just like that. Still, I'm using almost no pressure and just letting the knife float right down. Just like that. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can very lightly tap the bottom of this mountain to create some mist. Tap lightly and then lift up, following the angle of the mountain. Now with the fan brush and some dark green, we can come right about here and just start tapping in some trees. I'm not going to make them too big yet because these are very far away. When you're done with your little trees, we can just make a nice big tree. I'm going to tap down with the corner of the brush and kind of shape each little limb. Now when you're finished with the left side, then we can head right on over here to the other side and do the same thing. Just tap down. Now with the two inch brush, and some dark color, we can just begin shaping the land just by tapping. And I want this to be very, very dark because we're going to highlight and I want the highlights to show up. So this has to be dark. Now with some brown on the knife, we can add a few little rocks just like that. Now with some brown and white, we can add a little bit of highlight, just like that, very lightly, just float right over those rocks. Now with the two inch brush and some yellow and green, we can tap on some grass. I'm tapping very lightly and I'm paying attention 
to the way I want the land to slope. I kind of want it to all go down toward the water. Now with the fan brush and some white and a little bit of blue, we can come right about here and just rub back and forth to create some ripples on the water. Maybe this is a moving stream. We'll just do, do it like that. Now with some brown and white on the knife, we can add a little tree trunk in some of these trees. Now with the fan brush and some yellow and green, we can add a little bit of highlight to some of these pine trees just tapping with the brush. And I'm leaving a lot of dark in the tree. A lot of dark, and then let it get darker toward the bottom. That shows depth and distance in your tree. Now with the one inch brush, and a little bit of yellow and green, we can add a couple of little bushes right here just by tapping with that brush and leaving some dark at the bottom. And maybe one over here. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my new website and also my DVD for sale. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.